What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Today and tomorrow, we're going to be doing something very special on the stream. This is something we usually try and do about once a month, which is to play on the private Valheim server uh, for patrons. So anyone that decides to support the content financially by pledging on Patreon gets access to two private Valheim servers. One is a build server and the other is a survival based server. The build server has been live since the game was pretty much brand new. And so we've got tons of epic builds. Uh, and so today we're going to be starting out by touring some of the awesome things people have been working on uh, on the server and uh, showing you guys some of the cool builds that we have on the build server. And then we'll be doing some group activities, which you in the chat will be able to vote on. Uh, and then tomorrow... We'll be playing on the survival server and um, we'll be sort of making a start um, settling in building a home to the new Mistlands world that was created uh, with the new Mistlands patch so we've already got people started to gather We've got Dana here. Got quite a lot of people online already, it looks like. Probably give people a minute to bring their stream up. What's up, Light Hope? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. What's going on with my connection to the server? Oh. Wait, did my Valheim just crash? Valheim crashed. What the hell? All right, we'll try that again. Thanks for stopping by the stream. What's up, Ashley? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. Hell yeah, Ashley. That's the nice six cents to have. I appreciate that. Even in Lost Mass, thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. I am, thank you very much. Build to connect. What is going on? What's up, LLC? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. Why can't I connect to the server? Is everyone else on the server right now? I'm wondering if we've already crashed it by lots of people trying to join or something. Server's still up. Thanks, Flo. Once or twice till it connects. It's weird because we're literally just on it. There we go. Thanks to all of I appreciate that. Hope you're doing good, bud. I think I'm in now. That was so weird. My game crashed. And then I couldn't reconnect. All right, we're in. That's rude. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh my god, it's so trippy pointing this head torch. Thanks a lot for the follow, Nodi on Twitch. And thanks for the sub on YouTube, Aaron. <laughs> Portal room. All right, let's go. Lead the way, Dana. Dana knows the drill. Dana's usually the head tour guide. Look at this chat. First of all, first build of the day. This is a uh, old haunted mansion that we built in the old Mistlands with the spooky trees and stuff. This is a nice one. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. Oh, we've got a portal inside now. Kind of nice. Let's follow Dana. He's got plans. Need some repair. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wait for the portal room to load in. Wait, what's going on? I have a feather cape for you? Hell yeah. So many people online. Who are we talking to here? Oh my god! <laughs> Gift for Nick at World Spawn. Hello, everybody. How is everybody in the chest over here? So this is where we usually... Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A resin donation box. This is where we have gear ready for new players to help them get started. You can get some troll armor, some picks. You have to donate resin. <laughs> nice. We've got quite a crowd today. This is cool. So I know we've got Mark, Dana, Fluffy, Claire, who are. Duckling and Canary. Thanks so much for joining everybody. So there was a challenge to us at the end of last service stream. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Please follow. Yeah, what was the challenge? I actually forgot. It was to build something, right? Nick's retirement home. <laughs> Are we getting that old now? To decorate your retirement home. Oh, that's right, right. After you, okay. Alright, so we asked them at the end of the last server stream to decorate the last build that we did. Ooh, it's looking fancy. It's looking pretty cool. Oh, I like this staircase. This is definitely a little different. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this. 
Concierge service. That's luxury. <laughs> We've got presents. Stacks of money from the YouTube revenue. This is awesome. Opt-in on the ward, everybody. Yeah, that makes sense. Whoa, this is really cool. Got a bar, nice. Let's maybe try and turn off. You good. It wouldn't be a build on this server without a bar. Oh, well, look at this. This is awesome. Retiring, retiring from Valheim. I guess so. This is an awesome hot tub. Hell yeah, chat. Damn, look at all this money. No wonder we're retiring. This is epic. Yeah, I forgot I've got my initials as well. That's That was also... This is great. This fireplace is absolutely epic. Absolutely epic. So, what, who do we have to thank for all this? Oh, look at this awesome font decoration. Well, on the last server stream, I built the house. And then the guys have decorated it for us. But they've also redone some of the walls on the roof. It looks really cool. Oh, we've actually got bedrooms and stuff. The entire group here contributed. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. I love this. We've got multiple rooms. It's like a, a real, like, holiday lodge or something. This is epic. It's like a luxury resort hotel now. This is so cool with all these little rooms. Forgive us for presuming we're welcome to stay <laughs> over in your guest rooms. I'll forgive you. I think the reason why it's so stacked with gold is because we've I must have been charging people. Thank you, Disco Geek. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. This is awesome, guys. Great work. We have much to show. Hell yeah. What do you think, chat? This is a pretty epic build already. Lead the way. If we've got a lot to do, we still start as we always do in the village. Hell yeah, let's do that. Whoa, this actually looks really cool. I didn't notice. Even the, these little shelters are such a cool shape. Um. 
Uh oh. I've got to open the gate. <laughs> there we go. Do I need food? Uh, yeah, I guess I could do with some food. So this is sort of the main village of the server. It's great. Want to stay for summer holidays? Oh, yeah. Trolls equals gold coins. True. Back inside, I'll put it in a chest. Okay. Nice. Lots of stamina food. I like it. I'm good for now, but I'll need that later. Okay. So this is just the edge of the village, guys. Start to in a restaurant here for new patrons. Yep. The Boar's Head Bistro. A classic. A classic on the server. Are we supposed to be following Dana this way? Up here is Goodwill. Oh yeah, the Goodwill store. <laughs> the legendary build. Goodwill is just genius. I remember this, the mini fridge. <laughs> So good. But changing rooms. <laughs> that says, holy shit, it looks like one. It's crazy, right? Got some mannequins. What would I say is the best melee weapon in the game? Uh... Probably the Frostner. I haven't decided with the new ones, actually. I do really like the uh, Demolisher. Oh yeah, this the till. I remember this being genius. Even has a handle on it, look. Sneezing, sorry guys. Alright, well, let's follow Dana. Let's go chat the epic builds. Oh, this roof looks new. Thank you guys, thank you. This is the trophy room. 
This is kind of a cool one. I remember us building this together. There's storage for all the trophies. Oh, they've actually added Seeker ones as well. Hell yeah. That tick trophy is disgusting. I've not even seen this one yet. Mistlands update has been incorporated. Yeah. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Legatas. And the sub on YouTube, Jonathan. I appreciate it. Always nice to have a good trophy room. But that's cool that you updated it. Everyone's staying on top of things. Welcome to 5 FPS village. Yeah, this village is so out of control. There's no getting around the FPS. Dana's place, there's so much stuff in this village, chat. It's kind of insane. This kind of thing's really cool to show the newcomers to the community. Oh, by the way, chat, thank you for 8,000 subs on YouTube. I really appreciate that. You just hit 8,000. Like last night or the day before or something. Just recently. Uh, yeah, I love this giant freaking uh, thing. I can't remember what this is called for some reason. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, this dock area is epic. Nostalgic tour. Hell yeah, Roy. <laughs> Yeah, the village here is still one of the coolest parts of the server. We know what parts of it we've had for a long time. An anchor, that's right. I don't know why. Brain farted there. Still need to wake up a bit. I had a late night last night making the next video. <laughs> The mail room. Oh yeah, I love the mail room. Look at all the the le the letters are all signs. Oh yeah, and everyone on the server actually has a mailbox. She's awesome. Mango Hall over here. Yeah, this is Mango's build. I think Mango started and I think others finished it for him, I think. But this was a really unique build that Mango did on the server back in the day. Yeah, erected by Mango, completed by Dana. Yeah, this is so cool. I remember you guys showing me this. These crazy windows. So epic. Yeah, it almost looks like stained glass. Get on the ward, everybody, if you can. Uh, where's the ward in this place? Oh, this ward. I think I opted in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Strap in. Just for seeing some insane builds.
through. We were being kind of rude standing on the table. Yeah, this is a, this is an awesome one. Oh, whoa, I've actually never noticed that middle bit before. In the ceiling. Library next, nice. Let, let me sip some tea on deck. Oh my god, this, that's such a cool roof design. Like in comments, I think I can remove my head torch for now. Now it's daylight. Yeah, this room was awesome. I think that is there some decoration that's not loaded in for me. It's a very cool room anyway. Nice meeting place for important decisions to be made. Let me know when things load in. I thought this this table's covered in decorations, is it not? Or is it or am I mistaken? Oh no, yeah, the server is locking for me a bit. Give it a moment. We can drink some tea. Why, why does my Valheim keep crashing today? So weird, I've never had Valheim crash like this for me. Well, Valheim literally never crashes. It's just happened twice today. Have we ever been seven of us at, on at once? I think so. Maybe not all in this village though. Thanks for the follow on Twitch, Cobalt and Evil Feast. I appreciate that guys. Hope everyone's doing good. We're getting back on instantaneously though, so. Still Gucci. No, what? The fuck? Uh, something isn't right. I don't think this is the server. I've had the server for a long time now since the game launched. Never had it be like this. Summit's up. Might be my internet.
It's been doing this since Mistan dropped. Oh, really? To all of us. Mm, that sucks. Is it just when you're in this place or no? It's a bit random. So what happened to my stuff? It's just ate a cape and some food. I'll uh, talk to the server provider about that. Doesn't seem to matter where we are when it happens. Okay. Definitely let me know if you have technical issues on the server, guys. I can probably fix it. Or at least inquire about it being fixed. No harm in asking, is there? I will say that FPS is better now, though. Yeah, I lost the feather cape and the food. Everyone's rocking the feather cape now. I love it. Go to the post office for food. In my mailbox. <laughs> Blind. Oh, it's here. What's up, Cloaky? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. It's a ZRPC timed out. It's played many servers. Oh, so it's actually a known thing in the game right now. Thank you for the food. I appreciate that. Okay, interesting. So it's not anything specific with our server. I know there's going to be a Valheim patch pretty soon. So hopefully that fixes it. Thank you for joining us anyway. I hope you're doing good as well cloak seems very random interesting oh god I think it's happening again I didn't know this was a thing. Bruh. 
They normally happen to people this often. I want to reset my game just in case. I'll ask Iron Gate about this chat. See if we can get any clarification on it. For sure it's going to be fixed soon. Oh shit, I'm down joining my fucking challenge world by accident. Pressed enter too many times because I'm used to the speed run where I spam enter. God damn it. I'm used to doing the relog in the speed run where I spam enter. Right, you don't don't, don't look. Don't look. You're gonna spoil the next video. <laughs> There's a bed in the post office now. You could set a spawn point there. Okay. It's escaping your mailbox. Thanks, Mark. You legend, bud. Try and log out before you get kicked. Interesting cloak. Alright, now it's working now. I'll try that, thanks. Sutton and Gwim. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good. Oh, at least we're here. Yeah, I've noticed the chest taking some time. It's funny, I wasn't aware of server issues. It must actually be the Valheim client then. Just keep retrying. Nice. Thank you. What's up? Take care now. This is up and by. I hope you're doing good. All right. We're, we're, we're back in business. Seems fine now. F2 to check ping. Ping looks good. Okay. Where to next? Yeah, we're ready. Storage and refinery, let's do it. It's been doing it even with two players. Yeah, I think it is not related then to load or FPS or anything. It's, it just seems like some technical issues with the update, doesn't it? Yeah, so this is our refinery. Which is pretty epic. You actually put things to process upstairs and they fall down here. Which is kind of genius.
think the, the kilns are a highlight as well. It filters down into this place. Very cool. This is a classic build on the server. Yeah, this is the uh, group storage, communal storage area. All the mats you could ever really need. It's freshly restocked for new patrons. Oh yeah. You're not kidding. Yeah, group storage area is awesome. Very nice, very nice. I need stock from this land, it's nice. We have a new village addition. Oh, cool. Whoa, what's this? I see black marble. Whoa, look how spiky it is. Welcome to Claire's bait and tackle shop. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. This is so cool. I love the spiky walls. You think the village is still loading in? Wait for lights. Oh, okay. See a couple of lights. It's very cool anyway. There we go. There we go. Oh, I see. I see. That's really cool. I like how the light reflects off the roof oh all the new fish on the wall hell yeah that's really cool to see should be about 32k instances here okay Yeah, we're at 28 case. Oh, these cargo boxes are an awesome touch. Oh, we've got a till again, a cast register. Fishing rods hung up. Oh, this is so cool. I love this idea for a bait and tackle. These storage cabinets are so good. This is such a great build, Claire. I love it. This puffer fish is so cool looking. Hand tied fishing lures. Yeah, the game's lagging a bit. Apparently like multiplayer servers there's a few technical issues with the missiles update at the minute new fishing baits in crates also yeah i've never seen this with these cargo chests slotted into shells like that how did you even do that that seems like effort did you just have to push them up there after destroying a cart? 
Very cool. I love it. Awesome addition to the village. Okay, off to the library. Great job, Claire. That was such a cool build. There's Nell's house there, by the way. An epic build on the server. What the hell? This is insane looking. My game's not lagging super hard right now, but the, uh, nah, it's nothing to do with the PC. It's just an absolutely giant village. Lots of new book titles. Hell yeah. This is wholesome. Oh, my FPS is dropping here. Yeah, this is a huge build that's been added to for a long time since the game launched. At any given time in this village, we've got about 30,000 instances going, so. Plus, there's a few technical issues with the server. Not this server, but with the Valheim multiplayer at the minute with the launch of Mistlands. Bedwetter's stories of courage. <laughs> Are you there? It's me, Fluffy. How did they place the cargo crates? I'm not sure. I think you just destroy a, a cart with stuff in it to create the cargo plate uh, crates and then just push them around. This library is kind of genius though. He's in the Badger. Eamon Valda. The Emperor and I. A chin travel guide. The mystery of the lost tombstone. Seaside legend. This is great. What other book titles have we got? Chicken mead and other recipes, John Cook. The fall of the Romans. How did they fuck it up? <laughs> yeah, you break your car and then push the crates, apparently. I, me, and the both of us. <laughs> The nine horse hitch. Blood feud one. How to piss off your neighbor. <laughs> Ding dong silver. Expressionism in mining. This is genius. The weight of a pyramid. Senate Jaeger. The last call of ha ha ha. <laughs> Fluffy Frida. Oh, it's your book, Fluffy. My love of troll. Trolls. Nell and Neelix. How to start a project. Unknown village resident. <laughs> this is genius. The old sheep and the plowman's blade. The tipsy gelding and two apples. Absolutely genius. The age of legends. Fluffy fast rider. A silver dolphin and the shaken fist. Return of Eamon's Field. This is great detail, guys. But this building is completely nuts. 10 FPS in Valheim does equal success.
This is chill. It's like a nice relaxa relaxation area. It almost reminds me of like bookshops that have like a Starbucks in or something. All right, Fluffy's Villa. Let's get it. Yeah, the FPS is all is has always been low in the village because it's just so big and so many people's builds are in it. That's the thing about building a big village or a town. Like we kind of do really want to keep expanding it, but obviously it's kind of hard. When the FPS gets so bad and it gets so big. But you can make some really big builds in this game and still have great FPS. Just the scale. I mean, look, the, you know, give people perspective. I mean, it's, it's, it's fucking massive. <laughs> this village is absolutely insane. We've been, we've joined the server and so far, pretty much every build's like within a few hundred meters of each other. So, but that does change. It's not the whole server's not like this. So what's this place? Fluffy's Villa. This is nice. All these troll trophies are hilarious. <laughs> Lots of resin chests. I wouldn't expect anything else from Fluffy. How full are they, are they though? That's the question. That's empty. It's all lies. He's not really as obsessed with resin as he makes out. I do like these stairs with the roof inside. It's the workshop down here. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Little basement area. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, I love this. I love the idea of using banners low down like that and clipping them through. So it just sort of looks like wallpaper. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. That's a unique fluff. Dana helped a bit with it. It's awesome job, guys. He's got his personal chest there. Doesn't trust us. Next, we go out to Hacienda and Lighthouse. He helped a lot, actually. <laughs> Fluffy is an asshole. <laughs> I did all of this. Okay. <laughs> So if this is, if Dana did all of this, in what way is this Fluffy's? <laughs> in what way is uh, this Fluffy's villa? Great job, anyway. I dug the basement. <laughs> How to start a project. Because he promised to build in the village for two years. <laughs> okay, we've got some server banter surfacing. Some, some server issues. Internal server drama chat, don't look. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so hot right now. Give me a sec. I was freezing cold when I started the stream. So I'll put a beanie and a big hoodie on and now I regret it. I'm melting. Give me a second, chat. Ugh. All right. Great stuff so far, guys. Love it. Let's wait 20 seconds. All right, sounds good. We've got quite the squad on today.
Oh, hell yeah. Let's get a dance going. I want to see every Viking dancing. This emote is absolutely epic. Is it going to crash the game, all of us doing this? I want to see it. Every person. Let's go. Everyone slash dance. I leveled blood magic to 42 yesterday. Skeletons are just as trash as their unfriendly counterpart, but they do hit hard when they do hit. I feel like they need to get an armor buff. Would be interesting for them to expand that. You too hung over? Oh, Dana's just sitting down. Come on. I want to see a big crowd of people doing the dance emote. It's too good. Slash dance, let's slash dance, slash dance. Let's see it, quick. Hell yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hell yeah, this dance emote is just so good. It looks insane. <laughs> What a party. <laughs> Hell yeah, there we go. Everyone's doing it. Sick. <laughs> it looks so good. I absolutely love it. Oh, Fluffy's getting crazy. Hot tub. <laughs> this is epic. This is a pure content. I could watch this all day. This emote's too good. Now let's get extra crazy. Get the root mask on. Now we're really getting into it. Hell yeah. Alright, it's getting weird now. It's getting weird now. <laughs> Right, that, that was good. Well played. Well played, gang. Man, I can't. I don't know how it went from being so cold to being so hot in this room. But driver be too hot, though, right now. It was freezing when I woke up. The root mask is such a well-designed helmet. It looks so cool. I love how we've just got these floating feathers everywhere. Because everyone's wearing these capes now. Stamina bar. Wait, I lost Dana. Lighthouse. Nice. Yeah, this is a cool lighthouse. Pyramid next. Sounds good. See how the performance is so much better now, guys? It's just in that village. It's completely insane. So many builds. We killed all the bosses. 
On the server, everyone's killed all the bosses, I think. I don't know if they've done the queen together yet. I mean, this is the build server. So... Priority is really building epic stuff on this one. I would guess so. I lost our tour guide again. No queen yet. Makes sense. Oh, there he is. All right, lead the way, Flo. You've made the key. Nice. May or may not be telling my community to come check out the builds. Nice. Yeah, it takes hours to tour all the builds. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch, Wasted Woody. This is the pyramid. This is definitely a cool one. Wait for stuff to load in a bit. Yeah, this is Rich's bill. This is an epic one. Whoa, all <laughs> the stacks of wood. still stuff that hasn't popped in yet he built a village of sorts out here oh yeah I forgot about this yeah the windmills awesome I definitely remember that well this crazy glass thing is pretty interesting Definitely an interesting area. I mean, that pyramid is just nuts. Look at it. Yeah, well, then this windmill's actually pretty sick. That is a really cool build. build. How do you place the boat here? If you hold shift, you can actually place boats on land. It is a cool thing, cool addition for the builds. Had a weird little detail. I actually kind of like this. Small builds in crafting and survival games are underrated. I appreciate a small detailed build like that. That's really cool. What is there actually in it? Nice. 
Cozy. Yeah, this is cool. I like it. <laughs> it just looks insane from down here though, doesn't it? Look at it, chat. So crazy. Portal room, then Marks and his family have some awesome new contributions to the server. Nice. Can we go on top of the pyramid? Yeah, we can go on the top of the pyramid. Why not? Pretty cool. All right, gonna catch up. Yeah, good job, Richard. This area is crazy. Yeah, just to put into context how many crazy builds are on this server. I mean, this portal room is huge. <laughs> it takes you to different builds and stuff on the server. So for anyone just joining that doesn't know, right now we are touring builds on the Patreon server. So they're showing me all the new additions uh, and some of the hits, let's say, uh, of the builds that are on the Patreon server. That's an a nice house design. All these house designs are really nice here, actually. I like it. So is this all Mark stuff? Mark and his family, Canary, Duckling, and Claire, built the next three locations we will tour. Oh, hell yeah. Family project. That's so wholesome. I love it. Looks like everything's loaded in now. I really like the design of these houses. So we've got Game Warden's house. Nice. It looks really cool on the outside. Apply for hunting and fishing permits inside. <laughs> See office clerk. That's awesome. Decorate the Game Warden's house. Oh, go ahead. Nice. Whoa. Holy shit. What the hell? So it's decoration. This is so cool, uh, like such a good use of the cartography table just instantly. I love the cartography table, by the way. It's one of the best looking models in the game. This is so nicely decorated, Claire. I love it. Awesome work again. Yeah, this is sweet. That very convincing game warden's house. You've got these hung up sort of like pelts hanging. Which is a cool idea. Oh, we got some books. <laughs> On the shelf here. What's up, Nell? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, bud. Well, 
Berg decorated this building. Awesome job, Claire. It's all it's really cool. The entrance is like just e so epic when you enter it, and it actually has a ward sat on a chair reading this map. That's such an epic, epic design. This is like mega convincing. This this feels like you are entering an office. Any Mistlands build? I'm not sure. We'll have, we'll have to see it. Wait and see, I guess. We're still on the tour. That was very cool, though. Now, what's this? Marks over here. These are all Marks family's builds. Ooh, this is cool. We have a grand finale, of course. I guess we'll have to wait for the grand finale. This is a really nice looking kitchen. I'm guessing this is the kitchen. Whoa, this is so cool. Hot tub upstairs. <laughs> I love this. I need to start using banners more in my builds. The really creative uses of banners. It's really bright and builds up. This is awesome, dude. I love it. I love the use of these banners. This is pretty interesting with the trophy for the abomination and the root armor set. Oh, what's this mark? A sewing machine. Hell yeah. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Wasted Woody and for the sub on YouTube, Roxy Garb, I appreciate that. That's a really cool. Oh yeah, sewing supplies there, look. That's awesome, I love that. Lots of detail in these builds. Got one of the classic plant pot designs and more books. Yeah, same Loki. This is really chill. It has a vibe to it, all this area. I love this sort of little picnic area here. That's really cool. IRL Canary is a quitter. Oh, is a quilter, sorry. <laughs> oh, is a quitter. IRL Canary is a quilter. Nice. So you can, can role play quilting in Valheim. Oh, look at this. It's a little chair next to the uh, spinning wheel. There's only one quitter. H2 Toxin, where are you? <laughs> yeah. It's one of their OG server members. Great job. Great job, guys. Uh-oh. We're being raided. This is going to be chaos. With the FPS. I don't even see any bad guys. Q 
Okay. Maybe they're scared because there's so many of us. What's up, Bevo? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Just watch your vegan Valheim challenge. You have patience of a saint. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed the content. Thanks so much for checking it out. Hope you're doing good, bud. Lots more challenges in the works. Literally recording one this morning. What's go I don't even know what's happening now. I feel like this raid has confused all of us. I think, oh, they're actually mobs, but I'm just not seeing them. Alright, the raid's over. For Gucci. Never been one of a challenge in the speedruns, but I think that was the most entertaining Valheim video I've watched. Ah, oh, that's a really good comp compliment. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I try my best. To make the best content I can. Sometimes it means it takes me a long time to do it, but it makes me happy that people enjoy it. I love doing it. I really appreciate that. Pens in front of the game warden's house. This is a really cool area. I appreciate that, Jeremiah. I'm glad you guys enjoy watching it. Very cool. I love the use of these wisp fountains. Look very cool. Alright, where to next? Did we get the full tour of this area? On to Duck's house. Okay, nice. Nice path through the woods. I appreciate that. This is a cool looking house. The duck pond. <laughs> Hell yeah. Brooklyn's house. Then they have two more large buildings to show us. Nice, nice. I like this. Lots of storage at the entrance. Very practical. Nice Christmas tree. Lots of space in this build, by the way. I built this one. 
and did most of the decorating. Canary helped so. Nice. Oh, I love this. I love this almost big smile or something of mushrooms. This is wholesome. Good wholesome kitchen. I like it. You on what spot? I use yellow mushrooms as string lights. Oh yeah. That makes sense, yeah. That's really cool. The meat platter looks really good. I never seen it laid out like that. Very nice, very nice. Upstairs is the bedroom and lounge. Got a mannequin there. I really like the use of space in this build. It's like very, it's all very spacious. Feels luxurious. We've got kind of an L-shaped couch. That's funny. Two thousand six hundred and forty hours or more to get to the day the server is on, unless my math is wrong. Which it probably is. You're probably correct. This server has been going with patrons playing on it. Basically since the game was new. One of the first things I did when I got into Valheim content was start, start this server. <clears throat> for patrons and people have been building on it ever since. That's why there's so many builds. This is really nice area. Anyway, I really like it. Good job, Duck. Yeah, so it's basically like a couple of years in now. Oh my god, I keep getting so snotty. I'm sorry, guys. One second. Let me mute my microphone. How many builds did I say there were? Oh, there's too many to count. I have no idea. It literally takes hours to explore them all. I have, I have no clue how many builds there are. There's like multiple areas with 34,000 instances. Like, you know, within line of sight, basically. It's insane. Great stuff. Mo the Mark clan. By the way, guys, later on. We're going to be taking suggestions from chat for group activities that we can do. And then we're going to have chat vote on which ones we do. So you can decide the fate of the server a little bit. You stick around. Fluffy and I have been building together on here for 2,500 plus hours. Man, that's so crazy, Dana. Can't believe it's been that long. It's all a blur since Valheim was for me. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is this? Wait for instances. This is insane. This is completely insane.
This is my first treehouse build. That's freaking epic. I love it. Very cool. Are you actually getting by walking on an actual tree? That's cool. I've never seen that before in a treehouse build. These cool tunnels. That's nice. Oh, I love that shape there, that little pod. Hell yeah, Mark. This is so cool. I love a good tree house build. I love this interesting combination of the abomination and the root armor set. Canary decorates. Nice. Good job, Canary. Yeah, this is a really, really cool build. I don't know why my alerts are going off simultaneously for both platforms today. But thank you so much for the follow on Twitch fan and the sub on YouTube. Whosoever, thank you so much. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, this is a great build. Fluffy's excited about it. What pants have you got on there, Fluff? I don't remember. Anything that looks like that. Shiny. Oh, this is really cool. I like how there's always books. The intellectual family. Are those what the carapace pants look like? I've only I've worn them. But never seen them on another player before. I never really paid that much attention. I, I guess I've always worn them as something else. It looks kind of funny with this skinny uh, generous top. This is nice. Kitchen. This is an awesome treehouse build. Oh, this is so good with the fermenter inside the little pod thing here. Great stuff. Did we lose Mark? Is he showing? Oh, right. Okay. This, this place is pretty huge. Oh, the forge and stuff. Mark said his family are all incredible builders. Definitely. Yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> this is an awesome bedroom. Complete with all these vines and stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? That's terrifying. How can you sleep with this above your bed? A Draugr Elite Trophy inside a Wraith Trophy. Oh my god. <laughs> this genius. Wait, I've just started noticing this. 
They've got <laughs> rancid remains inside one. That's so funny. I I've never seen anyone do that before. <laughs> it's Mr. Cubby. Oh my god. That's hilarious. I love it. This is awesome. Great stuff, Box. And Claire, Canary, and Duck. The whole Marks clan, the awesome builds. Legendary. This looks so cool as well from the outside. Interesting build. And what an amazing ship dock. Yeah, that is a really cool dock as well. Yeah, it's really nice that they've dug that out so you can sail in. On to Iron Bank 4. <laughs> yeah, the use of these trees as well is really cool. Can you speed run all bosses or just animals? Uh, we'll see, statue. We'll see. We'll put it on the list. All right, I am bank number four. Thanks for stopping by the stream, guys. I really appreciate it. Remember, if you're enjoying the show, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's the best way you can help me out for free. It makes it more likely for the content to go up in the recommended feed. So even if you're watching on Twitch, you want some on YouTube, head over there, smash the like, smash subscribe. It really helps. Whoa. These docks are epic. This is just a random giant end ring. I don't remember these docks being here like this. It's really cool looking. Thanks for the follow on Twitch, Roxy Go. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing good. This is a new canary build. This is an absolutely epic dot. This is totally a new build. Outshines the OG iron bag. Yeah, this is epic. It's one of the best looking docks I've ever seen. Damn. Still good to see, by the way. There's plenty of resources available on the server. You're still able to go and make a new iron bank. I'm glad. Yeah, this is awesome. Good job, Canary. It looks like there's quite a lot going on here. I love these sofa designs. The logs. There's still thousands of iron on the server. 
<laughs> God, God. Whoa, this whole entranceway is epic. I love this. What build pieces are, are those even? Oh, I see. That's a really, really creative use of stairs and arches. Like it's just arches and stairs look. And then it's two pushed together closely like that. To create this squiggly kind of arch. That's amazing. I love that. That is such an amazing looking tunnel. Man, it kind of makes me want a castle. Where all the corridors are done like this. <laughs> that would be so epic. Looks like a backbone. Yeah, it kind of does. And this Patreon gives you access to two servers. True. For as little as $1 a month, you can help keep the dream alive and get access to this server. Plus one other one. That we will be checking out tomorrow. Okay, since all has returned, we shall have a quick tour into mission over at the Salty Sea Dog. Sounds good. Take a quick break from the tour, get some refreshments. I like how everyone has their building style. Yeah, it is super cool, I agree. can all have a mead yeah let's have a, a quick mead together we've been walking quite a lot I think Dana's from California, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Los Angeles. The Salty Sea Dog, everyone's favorite tavern on the server. Hell yeah. We need to wait for some stuff to load in. We got no bartender. What's up, Just? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good. Almost full. So many people on the server are almost full. Wait. How many people do we actually have on the server right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're almost full. You'll have to let me know if we start to get server queues, guys. We can definitely expand the size of the server in the future. Bartender is on strike. Yikes. So this is the salty sea dog. Nice tavern where the Vikings come to unwind. Oh, the salty sea dog was a restaurant near me. Oh, okay. 
Whereabouts in the UK am I from? I'm from Lancashire, but been living in Leeds since 2008. Okay, agenda will be to tour the remaining big builds culminating in our incredible grand finale. Hell yeah, sounds epic. I like the sound of it. Great work so far, everybody on the server with amazing builds. What's up, Miss Fries? All right, let's let's drink a mead together. Uh. To the server. I only equipped it. To the server. Cheers. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Does anyone else want to make a toast? What's up, Miss Fry? Thanks for the stream. I hope you're doing good. I'm always amazed by all the improvements you all have done. Thank you for showing us. It was fantastic. I know it's so good, right? Love the mushroom lighting on the tables. Yeah, it is cool. It's a nice touch. Are we ready to get started? Yep. Thanks a lot for the sub on YouTube. Jackofan, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing good. Am I getting double alerts for YouTube? Give me a second. Oh, I am, yeah. Wait, let, let me mute this one. Bear with me, chat. We had some technical issues with some of the alerts stopping working. I think that's good now. I'm re triggering the alerts right now just to test stuff. Seems fine. Sorry about that chat. Right. Let's resume. Pub is hopping tonight. True, it was. <laughs> this is actually really funny doing it with more people. All right, so you're going to see a few more builds. We don't have enough time in the day to show you everything on the server. But they're going to show us a few more big builds. And then there's a grand finale of the tour that they've got planned for us. Fluffy, can you briefly tell the story of Thomasov? While we wait for instances. I want you to open the door and get in. <laughs> yeah, this area is so cool.
by the way guys i feel like now is a good time to mention um you might be wondering where the next episode of the challenge series is because I, was, I, I was been working on it the last few days and i said i was working on it before i returned to streaming um it's going to be done very soon within the next day or so uh today and tomorrow i'm doing the server stream so i don't have much time to work on it but it will be done early next week i've decided to actually do the double elder fight in the next episode just so you know so there's going to be a lot there's a lot more going on in the next episode and I, I started making it and i just decided that i want to just get the next boss fight done in a challenge so it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a more interesting episode than usual so it's just taking a little bit longer like ba basically several just several more hours of recording uh it's probably gonna be about five to no six to eight hours of footage edited down into the next episode so just taking a bit longer a dear friend of ours thomas met his end here he died 10 times to desquitos this is the story of this build by by the way did you say double elder fight yeah i'll be releasing a video on my youtube channel soon which is sort of i'm, I'm, I'm doing a series of videos where we do sort of like a let's play series except it's a challenge series where every time we summon a boss we got to summon two of them um and i started it before Mistlands came out so i was busy making Mistlands videos and i just got back to it so in the next episode that's coming out early next week we'll be fighting two elders at the same time using no weird speedrun strats at all just fighting total normally but anyway this is the story of this build a dear friend of ours, Thomas, met his end here. He died 10 times to Deskitos. On top of that, he'd been harassed by drakes in his mountain castle. This is a legendary build, chat. Look. So after his 10th death to the Deskito right here, he disappeared. <clears throat> we never saw him again. And look, <laughs> where this guy's tombstone was left. His tombstone was left here in the plains. Where his tombstone was left, they built this whole build around him as a memorial. Where <laughs> it actually is like his tombstone sitting in the chair. So we built this building around his tombstone so that his tombstone was placed in the throne. How how awesome is this? Memorialized ex-server player that disappeared after rage quitting being killed in the blades. <laughs> if you look up, you see his name etched in stained glass. So his tombstone is here today in the exact place where he died last time on the server. Rip Thomas, everybody. But yeah, look. That how, by the way, how insane is this? A drawing of a Drake trophy with Drake trophies. Please, friends, let's all grab a horn and raise it for Thomas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we need. This is an art installation to commemorate his Drake issues. Stop then. But yeah, how awesome is this? We call this Drake stuff. So good.
Whoa, it's floating away. What's happening? It's the ghost of Thomas. What the hell? Thomas wanted that one. The ghost of Thomas, welcome, buddy. What the hell? He's still here. He's alive. Well, he's a ghost. What is happening? Minute silence for Thomas. <laughs> Whoa, it's coming down. <laughs> this is so weird. He's raising a horn with us. <laughs> How? Guys, he's actually haunting us. I can't believe it. We couldn't have scripted this better. Did I get it? It fell. That was so weird. Thomas, brother, please go back to us. <laughs> that was actually kind of creepy. I don't even know where it's gone. Thomas must have taken it to, to Valhalla. It's gone to the afterlife, that horn. We built a village around this cathedral. Yeah, I love this build is so sick, by the way. Still so impressed with this Drake thing. It seems like so much precision to make that look good. Hell yeah. I like Mark's vibes. The Drake was all freehand to me forever. I bet Dana, yeah, that that's really crazy. Outside to the village, right? Let's go. Yeah, this is so cool. What's up, God66? Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Appreciate that. This way, please. Where's Dana at? There he is. How did it take to build? No, we'll have to ask. How long did it take to build, Dana? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. The morgue. <laughs> you did an amazing job in this place. Awesome tribute to Valheim Struggles. I know, right? It's so cool. People that play on the server. So talented. Oh, this one's been attacked. Down below, you will see a crypt honoring our four fallen server brethren. Yeah, this crypt is awesome. Bagatelio. I don't know if Bagatello's in the chat. These are basically all people that played on the server that haven't been online in ages. 
So they created the law that they're all, they're all dead. And they actually made a crypt for their dead bodies. Which is just genius. Absolutely genius. We got Bagatelio. Harry Lomax. Cyflander. Vidar. Athelstan. Few of these people are my friends. I know who they are. <laughs> Loki. And Durs. Burger tells her and at a mod in the Twitch chat. Some of these people have been with the stream for a long time. It's funny that they've got places in the crypt. Yeah, that's so genius. And then look though, the way this is done is so funny. The morgue. These are like crematoriums, look. Crematorium one, two. Do not mix the ashes. <laughs> We've got a John Doe that's out on a drawer. Like this is like the fridge in the morgue. It's so like this is just so funny and genius. This build. I forget who did this morgue build. I forget. Like it's so this is so clever. Look. John Doe found between the teeth of a lox. Jane Doe found drifting at sea. John Doe found on a rock. Dana falling from the tree house while struck. <laughs> this is me fluffy and now. Yeah, it's so good. It took, took us a month. There you go. A month. That's nuts. Tell me to look up. What is it? What? What am I looking up at? Who is? What? Is there a certain spot I need to look up at? This? Oh, you mean the treehouse? From where you are? Yeah. Look at this crazy treehouse, guys. Yeah, this build here that you're about to see is absolutely nuts. Bakery. Oh yeah, I remember this. This bakery is genius as well. Sweet pastries. Oh, strawberry pie. I remember this genius invention of strawberry pie. Combined in place in raspberries. With locks pie. That's absolutely genius. Bread rolls. Got hairs in the traps. Where, where am I looking? The Mistlands terrain adjustment spared us here. We lost a blacksmith pot, so we had to rebuild. So... The hairs run into the spikes? Really? Oh, yeah. There's the remains of hairs down there. That was always affected. That's good, Dana. Yeah, because obviously this was a Mistlands build. But yeah, look how insane this tree house looks, chat. Just wait until you see this tree house on the inside. It's completely nuts. That's nice to know, though, that hairs will just walk into spikes. Shall we go up? I think we should.
Nice little observation deck here. This is the old tree from the Mistlands and the prior update, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's from ages ago. Like We've had this server going since the game was new. These trees haven't been in a Mistlands in quite some time. Even before the update, they were actually just empty. This is an awesome bar area. One, one of the coolest looking Valheim bars I've seen. Oh no, we've got a skeleton surprise. This bar is awesome though. Oh, we've got hens in here now. Who cares about skeletons? Ah, we're fine. Server bungalows over here. Yeah, this is like... Well, lots more people have access to the server now than they used to, but this is like... At the time, everyone had a house built in the tree house like this, which is genius. And yeah, actually, wasn't this done at last Christmas? When everyone had presents left in their own little Christmas trees. Man, it's so crazy how long <laughs> we've been doing this now. Yeah, I still think this treehouse is one of the best builds I've ever seen. Just keep watching, chat. Oh, they've actually expanded it with more but more bungalows. We've got Canary and Marks. Claire and Duckling. Nice, that's awesome. Still seamlessly expanding it. Over a year later. <laughs> This observation area is so cool. Now, this is an old Mistlands tree. When the game first launched, Mistlands had trees with cobwebs in it. So if you explored those old worlds, those trees are still there in the areas you explored, but in the unexplored areas, it's the new Mistlands. Fluffy decided this was the only place he could raise chickens. <laughs> but but why? <laughs> why is this here? That's such a troll, surely. <laughs> that's that's funny though. So now we've got chickens in the treehouse for some reason. Why not? This treehouse has everything. Why not a chicken farm? Yeah, this tunnel, by the way, was insane. A workshop. It's just mind blowing how big this is. For a tree house. We need to keep the chickens out of reach of the seekers. True. Oh, we've got people chilling. <laughs> yeah, this this observation area. This is it. This is really the bit that just looks so cool. Decided he needed to raise them here too. <laughs> Outside my bedroom. <laughs> He's got an actual. Oh shit! I fucked. I also collected. I messed it up. Sorry. You'll have to fix that. My bad. <laughs> it's alright, he'll fix it. Jumped into the server. We've not jumped into the server for months now. Like hard there with my potato. If you... Yeah, it's not... 
it there's actually little to no lag if you're not in the main village areas. But yeah, in the main village area is pretty much brutal. I don't I don't think it's really people's PCs, I'll be honest. I do just think the Valheim multiplayer server client in general just needs some optimization. Because whenever I look into it, it's like I don't think it's ever my computer and I don't think it's ever the actual server that I'm paying for. It never seems to really be being touched. I think it is just the need to optimize multiplayer some more. Is it snowy because it's high up? Yeah, that's crazy, right? Five pillars next. Yeah, I, lo I love the look of this area. Wait. How do we get to that next, next part, though? I want to show chat this bit. This is really cool as well, look. What do you think, chat? Pretty naughty build. All right, yeah, we can go to five pillars now. Anyway, are we just jumping off? We gotta love the feather cape. So good. Now you want an old tree. I know it's kind of a, like it'd be nice if they figured out a use for these missons trees. They all kind of vibe these old missons trees. They're basically giant swamp trees with cobwebs. I do sort of miss them. All right, back to the portal room. Let's go. Amazing, amazing as always. I think it was mostly Dana, I think, that did that crazy tree build. Yeah, maybe we just need like some little unique loot area that just has a few of them trees or something. Because it's just such a cool looking model. But it's epic that you can still have them if you have an old world. That's one advantage of playing on a server. If you just never reset it. Fluffy abandoned me for like two months of holiday. <laughs> the Enterprise. Is this how heavily... Oh, this is all completely vanilla. There's never been any mods or never been any cheats or commands used on this server ever. This is just what a server looks like when people are actively building on it for like two years. This been going. This server has been going with people actively building on it since the game launched, pretty much. And I, I have never wiped it once. It's why I started a new server. This one's just, this is still loading in. It's why I started a new server because I want wanted to have a server that we do wipe with major content updates, so people can play survival, and so we can keep this server and just never wipe it. So we're always adding to it, so that this can stay the build server. So that's why I started a new server with Mistlands. This will take a while to load, yeah. Oh yeah, it's because it's an old Mistlands tree, not a swamp tree. That's just what Mistlands trees used to be like when the game launched. I actually made a video exploring and hypothesizing what Mistlands could be like when the game was pretty new. It's on my YouTube channel where I explore the Mistlands. You, if anyone didn't play back then and they don't know what it used to look like, you can check it out on my YouTube channel. It was actually one of my most popular videos at the time. Wait, I've lost everybody. Where's everybody going?
someone jump down? Oh, this is still loading in. I'll have to give it a minute to load this stuff in chat. Well, you can see how epic it is. Head down to ground level to see a spaceship and skyscraper. Right, I'm just going to nip to the bathroom whilst it loads in. I'll just be a couple of minutes, chat. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll just be a couple of minutes. Remember, smash the like button on YouTube. Smash the sub button. Help support the content completely for free. And if you want to support the content, help keep the dream alive and be able to join in on the action on the server. Either today, tomorrow, we'll be doing another server stream tomorrow or any other day. Uh, exclamation Patreon in the chat link in the description. I'll be right back. Give me one sec.
I'm back. What's going on? Got no pillars. We're pulling out because the pillar hasn't loaded. The structure is starting to collapse because of it. Once we're out, it should load for you. Is a bad thing that's happening? Slow pillar spawns creating issues. Shall I re-log as well? Build was falling apart. Yeah. There's definitely some issues. With the Valheim server client, it would appear after the update. It seems fine for the most part. Daniel will lead me to portal out. By the way, crossplay is uh, enabled on the servers now. For people that play on the Microsoft Store. Are you going to speedrun? I'm not going to be doing a speedrun stream out today or tomorrow. We're doing server streams today and tomorrow. Because they usually play with the, 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 the patrons on the server once a month on stream. We've not done it all in a while, so we're going to do two back to back to make up for it. All right, let's follow Dana. And um, then I'll be going back to finishing my next video. And then when my video comes out early next week, we'll be doing some long speed on streams again. The bullet pillar spawned when I left. Do I need to leave then? What's happening? I just give it a minute. It does look like a rocket ship. Oh, here we go. I'm getting issues again. Getting a flashing light in the top left. Koki said about relocking before it crashes. Try this. Let's quit the game. Fully. See if it helps. Just got kicked. Yeah. I had a feeling. completely crashed yeah it should be fine if you just keep trying to restart your game and rejoin sometimes it takes a few times to reconnect but it's essentially like a bug with the Valheim server client it's nothing to do with our server specifically or our computer specifically or anything like that apparently it's a known issue with the game basically uh, with multiplayer at the minute since Misslands. So hopefully it gets fixed soon.
I don't know if there is anybody from Iron Gate in the chat. That would like to comment on it to explain. Top tip for anybody wanting to level blood magic. Level up both staves to two. Use the barrier to keep the skeletons alive. Yep. Thread made a awesome video about easily leveling up blood magic. I can, e I can even monitor so performance files who do this. I'm Someone in the chat said it has just been a thing for everyone's server since the update. It sucks it happens, but it's nice to know it happens to others too. Thought it was just my PC. Yeah, I know, right, Ivy? I agree. anyone seen the Chevy Chase film, National Lampoon's Christmas Holiday or something like that? I've heard about it. I've never actually watched it. Alright, which one is this build server? This one. If I click on this. Well, the server shows zero CPU and zero RAM usage right now. It actually is weird that it shows zero. But yeah, it's definitely not because the server's shit in the bed. Yeah, I guess if no one can connect at the minute, it will be zero though, won't it? Why is it showing zero percent? That doesn't seem right. I'll contact G Portal and I'll, I'll, I'll even potentially message someone from Iron Gate about this. I wasn't aware that this was a thing for Valheim players at the minute. It is something I've not heard anyone talk about. But, but according just to our stream today, what chat's saying, it's a known thing that's happening to everybody. Oh, there we go. It's back again. So, very interesting that it just ticked up for CPU usage. Yeah, so just for context, the server is only at 8.69 CPU usage and basically 1.7 gigabytes of RAM. So, like, it's no, the server itself is uh, cruising. No problem. Some of our latest alerts in the server that might have been because of this, Nick. Or latest alerts. Some of our latest alerts in the server chat might have been because of this. I'm not sure what you mean. Dana's latest what? It's actually back to zero percent again. Hmm. Oh, you mean in the Discord? 
Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Kept thinking that it was down, right? But it actually wasn't down. Yeah, see, it's on 0% again. Uh, so, it, de I, it seems to me... Because the server's getting nowhere near, like, buckling or anything. Um, I need to actually close this webpage because it's affecting the stream, actually. Um... Yeah, it seems to me like the actual Valheim client is what's actually shit in the bed. So the server's running the client, right? So that you can connect to it. And it. That seems to be the thing that's. Well, Cloaky said he knew what the error was, which I don't know how he knows that. In fact, well, I don't know if he'll ever find it now in the chat, but he said. Can I find it in the chat? Uh, ZRPC timeout. It's plagued many servers. So, are the people all playing on the server right now where the game is completely fine for them, or is everyone? Reconnecting. Because if some people are on and some people aren't, that would also suggest this the game. I do run a server. Can you restart the server without crossplay? Yeah. Do you think that might be the issue, Cloak? Is the reason to believe crossplay is the problem? To the best of my knowledge, nobody's in at the moment. Oh, okay, interesting. So yeah, it is the whole server. Well, yeah, we just monitored the server, and the server itself is fine. So it's the client, definitely the client. Maybe a fluke, but it seemed to help. Hmm. I can try it. Does everyone play it on the server right now? Want me to try and actually restart? You can log into other servers right now. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just to, to the actual client. Does everyone playing on the server right now? Want me to try restarting the service with turning crossplay off to see if that helps? You actually think it helped, Cloak? I said, did you get the issue? without crossplay or not well yeah we don't really know if there's anyone that uses the windows store that is a patron but there probably isn't and they're out of the people that play on the server i would bet no one No one is doing it. Can we have a quick vote right now of the people that are playing on the server in the Discord together? Whether or not they want me to... Uh... Yeah, nobody needs... Nobody in voice needs crossplay. You want me to restart it without it and see if it helps? Stays 5 out of 10 on the server, but that could be connection attempts. Yeah, probably. Maybe, not sure. I was trying many things at the time. Yeah, okay. A bit of a shot. Let's do it. Alright. I have to do this. Wait, do I have to do this on the stream PC?
restart it. All right, I'll, it'd be best not to do this on the stream PC because it might affect the stream. Can I? Oh God. I need to create another screen like this. But but one way you can actually see chat. <laughs> so then we could refresh our coffees and teas. Yeah. Let me do something here so chat actually works. Don't panic chat. This looks kind of weird like this. At least about the read chat. In fact, I know what I can do. Alright, that's not too bad, is it? I'll leave it the stream like this for a sec should still be able to read chat like that let me because uh, this way i can actually reset the server on my gaming pc and it won't make the stream drop frames you can read chat like this right yeah you can read chat you just can't see when it's totally white background that's not bad all right bear with me it's just easier to log in and do it on this way Otherwise, I have to use a stream PC and it'll make the stream drop frames, which I don't want that to happen. Zoomed in, Nick. Yep, it's one of the rare times you get to see if he's zoomed in. Alright. My servers. I'll just do it with the build server for now. Um, boy, close the server, scroll up and what? Look where. You mean, uh, at the console? I forget where you actually see. No, no, I'm using a G portal server. But you want me to look at the console, right? There is some way you can still look at the console in G-Ball. I just can't remember. Where they put it. Logs. Uh, I see Zenit shut down. Don't see. Uh, 
don't see any timeout. Uh, I can't see it in the log, but I don't. I'm not. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, let, let me just turn it off. When I click restart, well, I've just turned it off, so I'm pretty sure clicking the restart button and G portal will just turn it off and turn it back on again. Looks of people like Badger. To me. You know, I used to be a professional game developer, right? I know what a log is. <laughs> but yeah, there's no, no the RPC timeout. Is it back on again? Fuck. Turn it off. Crossplay off. How the fuck is it off? Back on again. Stop. Saving it. Okay. Online. Put it back on again. And I'll let you know in the Discord if the password changed oh sorry if the IP has changed or anything let's have a look no oh, should be good everyone can try and rejoin now all right try again everybody Try again. <clears throat> Maybe even just having given it a restart will help. It's like generally you just leave your server on. Nick's fixed it. You just have to build it all over again. True. It's been on for two years. 
It's definitely been restarted a few times over the years, but it's mostly been on for two years, yeah. I'm not able to reconnect yet. on yet it's in the same shit for me doesn't seem to have made any difference I'm actually kind of amazed that the IP didn't change after that reset though but yeah it didn't be fine it's still on zero percent which you know it's just be an indicator that no one's on yeah it seems random we can go back to this screen now anyway If I knew as Valheim was plagued with this many multiplayer issues, I wouldn't have scheduled two back to back server streams though. Yeah, it's not the server, guys. Oh my god, I fucking clicked on my challenge world again. Right, I'm not streaming a reconnection screen all night. It was pretty stable at the start. It, to be fair, it was sort of like this for, for like a few minutes earlier. And then it was just fine again for ages. Could we move to the survival server for now and finish the tour tomorrow, perhaps? We could try that, yeah. Took a rocket ship to lock it out, true. I don't know if the survival server will be any different, though, because I don't think it's actually anything specific. I think it's just the, the client's fucked of the update but we can definitely if, if I decide to call it a day from all of this bullshit we can definitely I'm going to contact Iron Gate <laughs> I'm going to message some Iron Gate employees say what the fuck's going on fix it now I'm not but I'm going to ask them about it because they, they, they'll know. Has there been an update today? No, I don't think so. There will be one soon, though. This month, most likely. Alright, let's try the other server for a sec. I need to hide my screen again. So we don't give out the password to everybody in the chat. 
Try the other one. They're working on it, Fluff. I don't know if they're working on this specific thing. That's what I'm, I will ask about. Uh, but I'm sure they like that there is an update due. I haven't been able to start dedicate server, and I didn't do anything wrong. It worked perfectly when I first joined Valheim for the missiles update, but a week later, nothing. Hmm. There are problems for sure with the game at the minute. By the way, crossplay is actually on on this one. I don't think it is crossplay. I just think the client has a some bugs. I should probably start a new character for this. See, this one works fine. It kind of makes me wonder if it's something to do with old worlds. Um... Let me check the server status one more time. We could start a new character. Basically tomorrow, my plan was to essentially start a new character and start from scratch again on the survival server with you guys and uh, just get started establishing our homes on the survival server and maybe helping each other out with that could just do that now <laughs> the server should be up now. The other, like, now it's showing some CPU usage, so it's, so it's actually doing something. Because, like, basically, guys, if the client is shit in the bed itself, so basically the, the the sort of version of the game, if you will, that's running on the server the server is just a computer right that's connected to the internet that's it it's a sort of version of the game essentially running on it that you connect to it doesn't appear to be the server or our game or our computer so that means it's actually just the, the version of the game on the server if that is what keeps shit in the bed that's why the server will drop to cpu usage zero even if it's up so if there's almost the CPU and the server's doing something, it has to be working. I would assume. No? Still won't let me in. I bet if I refresh it now, is CPU gonna be at zero again? Sure is. All right, fuck this. Let's try this survival server chat. And uh, we'll start a new world on the survival server. I did check the IP. 
I was just gonna double check it. Like I was like I did think it would be different. Thanks a lot for the subs and the follows. I appreciate that. Hope everyone's doing good. Oh yeah, it's just it's 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 everything is actually working. It's 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 the game essentially. Same IP. Uh, right. What shall we call our new character on the survival server? Play on the survival server. Maybe somebody could can can still continue to try and reconnect to the build server. Now the port number and everything is the same. Thanks so much for the sub on YouTube. Katsuri, I appreciate that. I hope you're doing good. I'm going to like check for like the eighth time that the details are the same, but. All the same. I'm logging on to the survival server whilst we do this, by the way, chat. Don't worry, we're, we're going to do something. I'm starting a new character on the survival server. So I have a server to start fresh on. First time in a long time outside of a speed run. No, the servers, there's nothing wrong with the server at all. It's fine. It's been restarted. Like it's not, doesn't appear to be crashing or anything like that. Nothing wrong. It's the game. Double it sound reminds me of Black Sabbath. Hell yeah. I created that sound. Right. Someone's already done eat there. Setting the build server again. 
I still let me know if anyone manages to get on the build server. I can just click try repairing it. See if there's any files that have messed up or out. As well, but I don't think it is that at all. <laughs> I think it's just the game. I think they need to fix it. Iron gate. That's what it looks like to me. Especially because multiple people in chat now have said they've had issues of starting servers. Playing on servers. Well, we're on a different server now. Because <laughs> we have two Patreon servers and this one seems fine. But obviously this is a brand new world with the Mistlands update. I mean, this one might shit the bed too, but be interesting to see this one's completely fine something to do with unity yeah they should still be able to fix it though Anyone's welcome to join me on the survival server. They want to build a new home on there. I'm going to repair it in G portal. What that will do is basically do, essentially verify the game files kind of like in the Steam. Uh, this isn't a speedrun, I just started a new world on our survival server to play with patrons. can definitely confirm that the build server the locking details are exactly the same as they were before what's up something thanks for coming by i hope you're doing good and uh i just repaired it and restarted it a couple of times. I'm, I'm going to stop messing with it now. Um, it seems to be running more like healthily now. I wanted to close it now. You guys just let me know in the chat. If you play on the on the server. If. That appears to have fixed the. Uh build server no they haven't marked I, that doesn't I, I don't know if I'm trying to explain it the best I can I feel like people are making a lot of assumptions that I don't know what I'm talking about but I do. It doesn't. 
make a difference if you can connect to other servers or not. If there's an issue with the actual Valheim server client, which is the most likely scenario from all the testing we've done and from everyone's account in the chat. It doesn't make, it's not going to make a difference. Servers won't be inaccessible at other times. All the servers are, will be online. It's nothing to do with that. Because that's nothing to do with Iron Gate or the game. They don't host dedicated servers. It's just, it's, it'll just be the actual software, essentially, that they provide you for running a server. And I can see in the dashboard, like, the server is on. The server's running fine. The login details are the same. When the, the IP import changes, ha changes pretty rapidly, typically. It's not showing as being any different as it was before. Hello. Um, and especially if whatever the like bug is that's causing it it's like we think it's something to do with unity uh, you know if it's related to old game worlds or something to do with a certain you know something that's in our some of our builds or something Yeah, sure, we can do that, Flo. Well, thanks for everyone that was joined on the uh, build server anyway. Do let me know, though, if people are actually able to rejoin the build server at some point during the stream. I've already spent too long on it. Ordinarily, in this scenario, I would have ended the stream. It's very unprofessional to continue streams through technical issues. But at least we have another server we can just play on. So... We're going to be playing on this server tomorrow. That was the plan. the feather cape here <laughs> oh god it's all part of the fun starting fresh you like my name i've been learning japanese i don't ask me any japanese because i'm shit at it but i thought i call myself nick san the full full immersion because i'm fluent now <laughs> Hell yeah. Konnichiwa.
Nice. Is this your humble abode on this server? Welcome, weary traveler. Oh, this is Sea Wages place. Nice. So people are playing on the survival server too, then. That's nice. So people that don't know, patrons get access to two private Valheim servers. No matter what tier you pledge at. Even if it's just the lowest. to cook some food. Nice, thank you for feet. Flint knife? I think I might go for a flint knife. Oh, nice. How about first to get eat this summon mats challenge? <laughs> Where are you leading me, Fluffy? To our base. Whose base? Oh, to have me kitted out. Nice. Okay. Me, Dana, and Nell. Nice. I need to get a version of this playlist that, uh, How's the Mistlands music in? Oh, excuse me. I'm probably going to wrap this up in about 50 minutes. Once we've been going for four hours. Then we'll continue on tomorrow with the server streams. Oh, this is cool. A really nice start. It's kind of nice to see everyone start fresh. Still pretty cool builds. Get whatever you need. Uh, I need. Where's your, uh, thingy? I can hear it, but I can't see it. Not sure where the ward is. <laughs> oh, 
above the door. Oh, yeah. Oh no, this is someone else's base. Yeah, I can't I can't click on it. Do we need Dana or something to allow that? Fix this, he's just destroying it. Something killed all the walls. It's a rip. Um. Quite a lot of trophies already. <laughs> a little two rag tunic. I don't think I've ever bothered upgrading that. Gave me loads of meat. Thank you. <laughs> All right, patrons, people that play on the server. You also have access to this private survival server where I am going to be starting a new character and creating myself a starter base. You're welcome to join me. Build server is not working. You can stock up from the ready to eat chess. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we got onions and stuff. Ooh. Alright, I don't want to take too much stuff. Don't want to get greedy. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. joking on this server true so you got a very strong start so do people want to help me build a start a home somewhere oh you did you say there's a, a, a map a 
for me to read. Map table here. What is the most beautiful food? True. Alright, hell yeah. Oh, quite a bit of exploring already. So, do we know a good spot for me to build? Or shall we go looking for one? I can see this being another mass build server, I know, right? Give it a few months, it's going to be exactly the same as the other one. Gamer subs, not a sponsor, but please sponsor me. It's one of the only things I actually drink. Because all the gamer drinks are bullshit. People probably don't believe me when I say this, but go look up the ingredients of gamer sup. It's the only reason I bought it. Not a sponsor, like I said. I've been offered sponsors by other energy drink companies and turned it down because the deals are shit anyway. And they're terrible for you, and I don't want a sponsor for something that's unhealthy. But the ingredients are literally just all super healthy vitamins, supplements to prevent eye like eye damage, basically, from looking at screens and stuff. Nootropics that help brain function. There's actually no additives or bullshit. And this one is, they're all sugar free, but this one's sugar free and caffeine free. And the reason I ended up ordering it is because it's one of the only things I could find that's a healthy energy alternative with vitamins and stuff that didn't have caffeine in it because I'm caffeine sensitive. So it's perfect. I want them to sponsor me. <laughs> I haven't spoken to anyone who gave us up about it, but. Any wishes for a place to build? Uh, somewhere flat <laughs> it's the only thing really maybe somewhere near the ocean if you have a spot in mind we, we can go to it but if you don't um, we can just explore it's up to you I have almost a hundred wood already. Ocean meadows, swamp, not too far away. Yeah, meadows, somewhere close. Just a nice little starter place, somewhere chill. Check the map. There. All right, we can go there. Let's do it. Now, down to take a look anyway. What's up, Midnight Gaming? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Oh, I didn't bring any arrows. Did bring. Oh, he's gone. Whatever.
Uh, I don't. I'm not really bothered for. I just want a nice place, safe place in the meadows to start with. I think. By the ocean, so we can sail. Collect stuff. What's up, Midnight Gaming? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. I have a portal over there on the other side. Look around to find a nice place. Oh, this is heading to where you mark. For now. It does look like a decent spot. Cloak. Has anyone tried getting back onto the build server recently or no? Taking a break. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty annoying. I'm not surprised. Did everybody just leave the Discord chat when I left that server? Well, we didn't really leave the server, did we? <laughs> we don't have much of a choice. Okay. I do like the look of this bay. So yeah, that's, this could be somewhere around here. It could be good. Let's explore a bit more. Kind of like the look of that little island. Playing on the Patreon server today with patrons. We've got two Patreon servers. This one is like a new one that's just for survival and stuff. And we were playing on the build server earlier. Uh, I used to play with patrons about once a month on stream. So that's what we're doing today and tomorrow. Because we're not, we didn't, I don't think we did it last month, which is why I'm doing two this weekend. And then after the weekend, I'll be finishing off a new video, which will be out early next week. And then we'll be back to doing some long speed on streams again. I like the position of this island. But I don't like the shape of it.
I don't think that's all houses. Uh, this is perfect. It's so great that the areas of these big stone circles are so flat. Wait, so I can see me do a full playthrough. I beat bosses with proper weapons. Um, I'm actually doing a challenge series on my YouTube channel right now. It's sort of like a Let's Play series, but every time we fight bosses, we fight two of them at the same time. And I'm doing it without any speedrun strats, basically. Like, without... Like, just totally fighting them all normally. Um, episode 4 will be out early next week. That's what I'm working on at the minute. But you can check out... Um the series so far there's three episodes already out i think you, you can get a link to it by doing exclamation 2x i think but to because it's like a double boss challenge i think the command is exclamation 2x in the chat if you want to check it out there are also buildings ahead close to the mountains nice what do you need start with wood yep i've got a lot of wood but more wood for sure, yeah. Um. What do you guys think we should do in this stone circle for a house? I need to put a chest down already. Raised house on stilts. That's a good idea. I like that idea. Even with the top of stones. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do, Doctor. We just make a house on stilts just in the middle of this area. I think if we're going to do a house on stilts, we could use a lot of core wood. If someone fancies farming some core wood. Does someone fancy farming some coal wood? 
Or shall I do it? Oh, Fluffy, you gonna do it? Okay, nice. It's gonna need it for the stilts. gonna keep kind of piling up wood until we got some core wood to start with the stilts. What if you invite a friend to your server to take a look at the progress of build? Does that make them stronger after they leave? No. Um, it's if you summon them uh, with a player within a certain, I think it's something like within 200 meters or something like that. They have to be close by on the server when you summon them. It won't change anything if you don't summon and it won't change anything if the other players aren't close to your, the boss. We used to do multiplayer new game plus speedruns of Archie. And one person would uh, stay far away and then we portal them back close later on. This stream mainly about builds. Uh, normally we do speedruns and challenges. That's the main thing that we do. But usually around once a month, I, I, uh, I play with my patrons. We have a private server for people that support the content by pledging on Patreon. They get access to a private Valheim server. And we, they actually get access to two servers. And we've not played with them in a while. So this weekend we're doing two streams back to back. So today... Um... We are, we toured the build server, checking out some builds. And now we're playing on the survival server where I'm starting a fresh character. And the, the guys are helping me create my starter home on the new fresh server for Mistlands. And we'll be continuing on with it tomorrow as well. For a few hours at least. And then next week we'll do speedruns again. What's my favorite biome slash biome music? I mean, the Meadows music is just so classic. It's so good. It's hard to not say that. But I do love... The Mistlands music and the Haldor music. Uh, 
Um, I think my favorite bio might, I mean, it, it's either Mistlands or, or Meadows, honestly, like, uh, Meadows is such a nice vibe. I'm a really big fan of like lush green, colorful places in games, but I'm also a big fan of all the cool new stuff, so. Depending on whether I just want to chill. Or if I want to do some dungeon diving. I have a Miss Lance or Meadows. Just biome wise. Yeah, the Miss Lance music is so good. Should actually make some wood arrows. Whilst we wait for the guys to bring us some core wood for the stilts, so we can make our little stilt house. I am... Going to... Try and connect to the build server again and see if it's... Working. How many hours do I have in Valheim? A couple of thousand or something.
Yeah, it's a hundred percent nothing to do with the IP or anything like that. Because I just searched for it in the server list. I recommend anyone else wanting to play on a build server that's having issues to search for it. Try connecting that way. And you can see it's not that. Right, back to the survival server. I've got core wood. Um, put some stuff away. Uh, now nah, I think we're good for mats. Do you want to help me build a house on stilts in the middle of this stone circle? Argument with the neighbors. <laughs> oh, I don't think we need to go super high up. Maybe just a nice simple. I'll try to join in once to see where you're going. All right. Basically just a normal square house. Obviously we'll need some kind of stairway going up to it. Still don't really need core wood wise, but now at least. Uh, might figure out perhaps the stairs first. Gonna be kind of nice.
I think you get the gist. Yeah, I was thinking Windows fluff. That's good. I might leave like a bit of a. Let's maybe do it like this. We have a bit of a front porch, kinda. Know what I mean? Are you playing with random patrons? Um, yeah, the, whoever joins on the Patreon, basically. People are just coming and going as they please. We, we, we had quite a few people playing with us on the build server. Yeah, that's actually a better window flop. Better size, I agree. Any patrons just welcome to join in whenever they want, basically. That's how we typically do it with these server streams. Yeah, this looks cool. You need to Patreon, where can you find me? Uh, there's a pinned message at the top of YouTube chat. That you can use. It's like a support site. Yeah, it's like crowdfunding basically. It allows you to do a monthly subscription for any amount of money you want. And in fact, you know, considering people are asking about it, I can do the whole spiel to break it down. This is actually why I try to do it at least once on stream to explain for people how it all works. But I can break down all the ways you support the content and how it works. Um, all right. So. The number one best way you can support the content and help keep the dream alive. Is on Patreon. At patreon.com slash Nick Rawcliffe. Patreon allows you to do a monthly donation, sort of like a Twitch sub. And said you can do it for any amount of money, even as little as $1. And how it works is, for example, if you were to subscribe at the $1 level right now, you could donate $1 to me right now. And then you'll be donating $1 a month on the first of every month from then onwards until you cancel your subscription and you can cancel it at any time. Anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join a private Valheim server that I pay for that runs 24-7. And you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest with the rest of the community and you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream when we do server streams there is a link in the description to the patreon or you can do exclamation patreon in the chat for the link um we actually have two patreon servers one is a build server and one is a survival server the survival server will wipe with Right, work with major content updates and the build server never wipes and it's been going for like two years with loads of crazy builds on it right now we're on the survival server and earlier today we played on the build server and uh, we'll be continuing on both we'll try and play more on the build server again tomorrow uh, and we will probably mostly play on this one tomorrow um, the second best way you can support the content financially is by just doing the normal donations uh, there's a link in the description to that as well. Or you can do exclamation donate. And those are the best ways to do a one-off contribution. Because your money goes the furthest. There's a link in the description to that as well. Or you can do exclamation donate. A 
And last but not least, you can support the content financially over on YouTube by doing super chats during the live streams, by doing super thanks below any videos, or by clicking the join button below the stream and becoming a YouTube member. And members get access to monthly exclusive behind the scenes content. should use these. I don't know why I didn't. I'm blind. <laughs> and yeah, some more behind the scenes content for YouTube members will be going up soon on YouTube. I do like videos where I might just like get some food or something and share it for you guys. So sort of, sort of IRL slash style or I will make a vid like I'll do like a unedited like recording where I explain me testing things out for speedruns or video projects and stuff like that yeah that looks cool Looks good, Flo. I'm having another floor, I like it. Oh, you're actually alternating the tiles. <laughs> nice, it's classy. Thank you, Paprika. I really appreciate that. It's very nice of you to say. I was just thinking about what we do for a roof. I think I know how we do it. Let's not, I think, let's not take it higher than this. We'll put a roof on it. No windows. Might put windows in after the fact. We've got windows downstairs. <laughs> All right. Might actually do like a really pointy roof like this. This is what I was thinking. And then we'll, we'll address that one separately. This should look pretty cool. It's so annoying the way collisions work for these roofs. It's the dumbest shit ever. Okay. Um
then I was thinking this bit. Kind of do this sort of a thing with it. We got more coal wood. No, I've just got one piece of coal wood left, unfortunately. I need more wood. All right, sounds good, Fluff. It's looking nice, though. I was actually thinking we kind of do it as if it's like a flat roof from the outside for this bit. From outside, this will look like a flat roof. See, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I might do it like that. I'd say this is a really nice start at home. <laughs> Considering we whipped it up pretty quick. Very nice, especially considering you usually start out in true. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think this looks nice. Do I have any videos on the channel with my best builds? Um, the only videos on my channel with builds are the VODs of the server streams. With some completely insane builds in them. Most of the... Oh, same thing starting to happen on this server now. Look, we're getting the error in the top left probably gonna crash um most of the server streams the vast majority of them if you were to go through the VOD or to search for like patreon or private server stream on a channel i think there's actually a playlist for some of them in it there's loads of them that's been going on over the last couple of years and most streams start with us touring the builds on the server and some of them many of them uh, we do really cool builds so that's where my build content is um for a, a long time i've been saying I, I need to do like a video yep where we uh we highlight the uh i need to do like a video of cool cinematic shots showing off all the cool stuff on my servers uh, but i've just not done it um but i, I will do it at some point 
Yeah, so it's just the game, guys. There's some issue with the game. At the minute where just all servers are scuffed with this issue. Hopefully we can actually get back on for this one. It's just the game. It's the server client. They need to update the server client. Thank you so much for the follow on Twitch, Vitarius. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. I think chat. Um, I plan to stream somewhere between four and six hours anyway. For today's community uh, server stream, and we are at the four hour point, so it's not a bad time to end. Uh, and of course, we will be continuing on with the server streams tomorrow. So we'll be showing off more builds and doing more survival stuff together with patrons uh, tomorrow. Yeah, this uh, is it's the fucking game, bro. All right. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Ryan Gay about this. I want to know what's going on. Um, but thank you so much for the follow. On Twitch, Vitarius, and for the sub on YouTube, Spencer. Um, I'm gonna go now, um, get some sleep. Then tomorrow, starting at around 6 p.m. UK time, I'm going to be playing on the Patreon stream, on the Patreon servers again tomorrow for a few hours. Uh, so we'll do a similar sort of stream tomorrow. Um, hopefully we can get back on the build uh, server tomorrow to tour some of these other builds. Um, I'll see if we can get an answer from my gate from what's going on in the meantime, but that might be hard, but I'll try and, um, and we'll continue on, uh, with our sort of new sort of survival progression on the new Mistland server tomorrow as well. And then early next week, I'll be going back into video editing mode and I'll, I'll be working on the next episode of the challenge series. We're fighting two of each boss at once with no cheese traps whatsoever. I've also not died yet so far, so we'll see if we can do it without dying. That video will be out early next week. And then once that video is out, the rest of the week next week, we'll be doing the long speed on streams again. So that's what's happening over the next week. Let's put in some effort tomorrow on the survival server. It was fun tonight. Yeah, I'm actually enjoying it. It's a really good vibe, actually. Fluffy, I like it. And I actually really love this little house we built. I'm up for that. We can just do more cool builds and maybe do some boss fights or something. It would be really cool. Um, but it would be nice to finish off the tour. Because there was some sort of grand finale plan planned, wasn't there? Um, I had a great time even with the small issues. I appreciate that, Pluff. I appreciate that. I actually had no idea that there was some sort of buggy issues with the Valheim server client at the minute. Um... Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have scheduled, scheduled these two streams, but it's fine. We, we, we've, we've got plenty of, of time in with the patients today, and it was super fun. And uh, apologies. Um, it's been worse tonight than before. Yeah. Yeah. I do wonder if this, if more, if more players ex exacerbate it or something. Um, but apologies to the viewers and to all of the patrons that joined today. I'm very sorry for the technical problem this part. It's, it's, it's nothing to do with us. It's completely out of control. I, I, I know some people may be skeptical of, of, of uh, whether it's out to do with me and my server. But but it isn't. It's just it's a G portal server. It, it, it's, never, it's never anything up with it. It's just it is just the game, unfortunately. Um. But I will contact G Paul to confirm it and I and I engage. Uh see if we can uh, get some information at least. Perhaps even a solution. Who knows? Um but I'll be back around six PM tomorrow to play some more with patrons. And then like I said, early next week I won't be streaming for a day or two to finish off the next challenge video. But it will be out the next episode of the challenge series early next week and then the rest of the week next week we're going to be focusing on crazy speed runs uh, and challenges and then have some more cool missed on scenes videos coming out 
all right guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed today's stream check the links in the description for how to support the content help keep the dream alive thank you so much to all the patrons for supporting the content keeping the dream alive i really appreciate it today and tomorrow is all about appreciating you guys and uh, make sure you head over to youtube and smash the like button and subscribe to the youtube channel exclamation youtube in the twitch chat it's the best way to help me out for free so it makes it more likely um, for the content to be recommended to new people all right thanks a lot for watching guys see you tomorrow bye